Fish hey everyone, it's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube, Eli Fishman Sports. Back with another interview. Today I'm happy to be joined by Jesse Litch, former pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays. Jesse, thanks for joining me. No problem. Appreciate you having me. It's a pleasure to have you on. You were taken out of college in the 24th round of the 2004 Major League Baseball draft by the Toronto Blue Jays. What was it like to hear your name called in the MLB draft? Ah, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, I knew... I knew it was going to come. It was one of those things I was hoping it would be earlier, but yeah. I ended up going back to college that next year. They had draft and follow when I was doing it, so I was able to go back to college for one more year and sign right after that last year of college. By 2007, you were one of the top prospects for the Blue Jays, who you signed with, leading to your first MLB call-up on May 15, 2007, when you made your ba debut with the Blue Jays in the MLB, coming into the ninth inning and only giving up four hits and one run against the Orioles to come and win your and you won your first MLB game. You pitched eight uh, eight, and, eight and one third inning and had the you had the longest uh, MLB debut for a starter for five years in Blue Jays history. What was it like to have such a successful MLB debut? Uh, I mean, it was amazing. It was definitely everything you dream of as a starter, as a pitcher, as a player. So for me to be able to go out there, and it happened to be my dad's birthday also, that kind of made it even more special. So um, just to, anytime you make a, a, a debut is obviously what you dream about and what you want to do. You finished 2007 as the and in the Blue Jays starting rotation with seven wins and 56 strikeouts. Can you tell me about your success in your first year of the MLB? Uh, I mean, definitely it was something, a learning experience. I'm 22 years old in the major leagues, and I'm a young guy, but I had a lot of good guys around me to help me get to where I needed to be and to, to help with my success for the future. Since you played so much in the major leagues, you got to face countless amazing hitters like Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz, Vladimir Guerrero, and Derek Jeter, Robinson Cano, and Alex Rodriguez, and so many more. Who was the hardest to face and the most nerve-wracking to see step into that batter's box that you know you had to face? Uh, I mean, for sure, the, the hardest out for me was, was uh, Dustin Pedroia, just because he always hit and put the bat on the ball and did all that stuff. Melky Cabrera has the best average against me, I believe. Um, as far as nerve-wracking, any time you're facing those guys, you got to be on your, your, your toes. So they're all of their same sort. There's times where the situation, like when Ortiz comes in or somebody comes in, that, that if they hit a home run, they beat you. Those are the most nerve-wracking. You know, guys that guys that have been around the game and they're really good hitters, that's that's you're, you're paid to get them out and they're paid to get you. So it's going to happen one way or the other. If you're nervous, it's going to happen more often, I think. You pitched five years for the Blue Jays, but unfortunately your career was cut short due to arm injuries. Do you have any advice for a younger baseball player uh, on how to take care of their arm since your experience? Uh, I mean, for for young young kids, it's it's you know you're out there having fun. Be careful throwing curveballs at such a young age. Um, as far the changeup is the best pitch in the game. As far as the uh, you know guys that are in professional baseball, young guys coming in, you know just make sure you take care of yourself, take care of your arm, do a lot of running, listen listen to to what the trainers say, and and that's kind of that's going to help you for the future of your 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 successful career. This is your first year as a coach, and you're the pitching coach for the Bridgeport Bluefish of the Atlantic League. Can you tell me what uh, what your time has been like so far here, and uh, how you like your pitching staff? Oh, it's been great. You know, the guys have been obviously we got some big names that have pitched in the major leagues, and some guys that haven't. But you know, the the camaraderie between the players has been really good. The uh, the pitchers have done everything I've asked of, and they've gone out and pitched. And you know we struggled early on, but like the last month, month and a half, we've been really good. So it's it's one of those things where you just keep you know plugging along and making adjustments as you go. And they've been very good at it. And you know I'm learning on the fly also as a coach. So for me to do that and for them to help me and me help them, it's it's definitely a a fun thing to do. You're in your first year of coaching. You've had you played seven years in professional baseball. Five five of which you spent parts of the season in Major League Baseball. What has been the best moment of your outstanding pitching career? Uh, obviously, my debut was awesome. I mean, that's yeah. that's something that you'll never you'll never live down. You'll never forget, and you know it just makes it makes the the game so much more special because it is your first game out there. Um, Playing in, in Fenway Park was fun. Like that's such a memorable place. Um, there's there's so many. Every game you're out there is a blessing, and to be able you know to be able to do what I did at, at in my career, obviously you know is very special to me. And and now I want to help people get there. I'm Eli Fishman with uh, Jesse Lish out.